presentation, and we're going to move on to the more fun, interactive portion of the presentation, where Matt's going to walk you through a day in the life journey powered by Zoom One. So over to you, Matt. Thank you so much, Srini, and thank you all for attending here today. Once again, my name is Matt Jordan. I'm at Zoom headquarters, and what I'm going to be showing you is something that we've been sharing with customers and partners uh, to kind of showcase how Zoom is enabling not only a hybrid workforce, but also the office of the future. So here in the office, I've got a couple of different devices in front of me here, from the Poly device that you see here uh, to the all-in-one from HP. And let's talk about what that day in the life is for a Zoomy coming back to the office. Now, we may just come back to the office uh, one day a week, and as such, we need to make sure that not only do we get the right space, but the right technology. And in order to do that, we have an offering from Zoom, uh, part of that Zoom wheel Srini just covered with you, that's called Workspace Reservations. And Workspace Reservations really builds upon the success of the scheduling software that we had included with Zoom Rooms. So being able to schedule meetings so that you could have the conference room space. Well, now that we're getting back into the office, we wanna be able to book not only those conference rooms, but also individual desks. And that could be a desk with a PC, it could be just a bring your own desk, or it could be something like we have here where we've got different phone devices that we can reserve. So I'm on the call with you all today. I go up to this all-in-one kiosk that's set up. I'm able to log in using my Zoom mobile client. And it's a really powerful client. Not only can I do my meetings and chat and phone, but with the QR codes that I'm able to scan here, I'm able to reserve that space and real time, what you're gonna see here is now Matt's instance has been brought to this space. So maybe my colleagues want to build a virtual network when we get together on Wednesdays to come into the office and so they wanna be in the same space as I, or maybe it's somebody that sees, hey, Matt's in the office, so I'm gonna to wanna to book you know, this conference room that has four walls so I don't have to listen to him. But that's only one part of the equation because we we booked a space. I said we also wanted to book the appropriate technology. And what we see here is um, as part of that reservation process, I booked a space that has this poly device. And this is a poly device called the Poly CCX 700. We also have partnerships with folks like Audio Codes and Yaylink to provide a similar uh, device type called a Zoom phone appliance. And with this device, while it looks just like a phone, you're going to be able to see here real time as I finish that hot desking of the future, all powered by Zoom, I've now brought my instance of Zoom to this device. And I can set up a pin so that I can lock it out. And as you see here, I not only have uh, the advanced telephony that you would expect from a phone, uh, so I can have that boss admin, I can take calls from queues, that's all supported within the uh, Zoom ecosystem uh, with Zoom phone, but I also have the ability to just start a meeting straight away or join any meeting that may be on my calendar. And because this is running a full instance of the Zoom client, I'm gonna have that video first experience on this device that traditionally may have just been a phone. And if video wasn't cool enough, and if you haven't used Zoom whiteboarding, we're gonna show you some demonstrations there, but this same whiteboarding that I'm using on this Zoom phone appliance is the same whiteboard that you would use from a desktop client from a um, room-based system. And that's all powered by the workspace reservations, that allowed me to use my QR code from my mobile device to log into this Zoom phone appliance that does telephony, meetings, whiteboarding, and more. But of course, not everyone has these fancy devices. You might have devices more akin to what we see here. And when you get into the office and you're back in, maybe you just bring your own laptop, maybe you're using your mobile device, um, maybe you have an old Cisco phone here. Um, the beauty of the Zoom offering is that with Zoom phone, when a call comes into the subscriber, and I'll ask Srini to place a call to me now, 
we'll see that the call can be delivered across whatever device is in that physical space or that I choose to make use of. So I'm gonna see that the call is being delivered to my mobile, to a handheld I have from Poly, my desktop client, as well as this Cisco phone that uh, also runs with Zoom. Now I'm gonna show you my desktop. I'm gonna answer here. We see that um, a large majority All right, so uh, what I was just told was because this is a queued call uh, through Zoom phone, the call may be recorded. The uh, caller is alerted to that. Um, I have the ability to put the call on hold. I can uh, transfer the call. I could transfer that to either another user uh, phone number or another queue. But because this is Zoom, I want to do more than uh, ever before. So without hanging up with the caller, that just placed a call to a regular phone number, I am now going to press the button to meet. And what you'll be able to see here is that because the far end caller has made a call using Zoom phone as well, we are now going to have video and there's Srini and I'll turn on my video as well. So we didn't even hang up. Srini started off with a voice call. Uh, he was able to get a notification via Zoom to elevate to meeting. And you know what, Srini, I'm in the office. I've got a couple of folks that I want to uh, bring into this conversation. We've got this great uh, Zoom room behind me, so I'm going to actually just use ultrasonic pairing to switch that call from my laptop to this room. And so this is doing more than ever before as well. So what we had was just a regular phone call to a regular phone number. And because both end users were using Zoom as a platform, doesn't have to be on the same company Zoom instance. It's all of the millions of Zoom phone subscribers out here that can use us around the globe, we're able to take that call and elevate that voice only call to a meeting. And then if the situation calls for it, like we say here, you know, I've got it, I'm in the office, I've got a conference room that has a Zoom room, we need to do a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm actually going to bring up um, on this device, and I'm going to uh, do some more of that whiteboarding. So I'm going to click on whiteboarding, we have a new offering that's part of Zoom one with our whiteboard, in that uh, we're going to be able to share uh, a persistent whiteboard. And this can uh, exist in a meeting or outside of a meeting. So Srini and I can get started here. We can get started with you know, a template if we so desire. Uh, we'll use that template. And if we are making changes on the fly, he and I together and all the colleagues that I've brought around, we're gonna be able to see that and collaborate together. I see that Srini is already uh, making some changes here from his end. Now, the nice thing is if we have colleagues that may be in a different uh, time zone or weren't able to make this brainstorming session, this whiteboard is persistent. It has no uh, boundaries. So as I make this very small, you can see how big that whiteboard could be. And uh, it exists both in and out of the meeting. So if we do want to just keep going week in, week out with the same whiteboard, we're able to do so. And we did that all without hanging up that call with that uh, initial voice call, all powered on Zoom with Zoom One. So as I end that meeting right there, uh, I'll just speak to the uh, Zoom device that I have here in front of me. This is an all-in-one touch display running a Zoom room. Um, every Zoom room has Zoom phone included in the subscription so that you have the ability uh, to make that voice only call uh, from the device itself and then elevate to meeting if you so desire. Um, and it kind of takes that confusion and the toggle tax out of the uh, equation in the room-based scenarios because you don't have to wonder, do I use the triangle phone for audio only? Do I use the room-based system for video only? It, with Zoom and Zoom One, it's an all-in-one solution. Now, the next thing that I just wanna show you all real quickly is um, I've got another 
display right behind me here. This is the Zoom room. Um, digital signage is also part of the Zoom platform and digital signage is very powerful and sometimes uh, not given the due. Uh, so I can put, you know, branding up, I can put marketing data up, but these uh, digital signs do so much more than just put a image up. I can have emergency E911 notifications. So if somebody is placing a call to emergency services, uh, we can use the Zoom platform to blast an emergency message out to the whole of the enterprise, to a specific office uh, campus or, or building, or to a specific floor, alerting end users on either Zoom rooms or through the digital signage that there's an emergency. Uh, we can use these uh, devices also for real-time um, delivery of phone and Zoom contact center stats. I think I have my graphic on the Zoom logo a little, a little too long for my demonstration here, but we've got other uh, dynamic content that you can make sure that you push out uh, from that single pane of glass that Srini will be showing us with the admin portal shortly so that you can get real business analytics like we'll see here in a moment of dashboards that are relevant to the call queues, be it voice, video, chat, or SMS, all powered on the Zoom platform. So that's just a real quick overview from the Zoom offices. I thank you all so much uh, for taking part and I'm gonna pass it back to Srini, who's gonna show us how easy it is, not only for the administrators, but also for those end users by making use of this Zoom admin portal. Over to you, sir. Awesome.